Jonathan, hello, question. I have a mortgage of 153000 at 4.45% interest. Can you give me an example doing velocity banking? My income is 8K, expenses 3, cash flow 5. What I'm doing now is paying extra to mortgage. Okay. So, 153000 Income, 5K, expense, 3K, debt, 153K. We're going to assume that uh, uh, Jonathan's only debt is 153K. That's the only information that he gave us. So I'm going to assume that's, that's it. Cash flow is five grand. Currently, he's doing debt snowball. Wonderful. So he's already making progress. First thing I would do, get your debt snowball timeline. How long is it going to take me to pay off 153000 if I pay five grand each and every month towards the debt? Okay. Measuring stick. Do that first. Then we need to decide what the debt tool is. If I make eight grand a month, oh shoot, go like that. If I make 8,000 a month, spend three cash flow five times 12, $60,000 a year is what this person is supposedly cash flowing per year, right? I'm pretty sure this person's living well below their means, right? So 60,000 a year, that's the most amount of money he can throw at debt. We don't know what the mortgage payment is. 153 divided by 60,000 in principle, 2.55 years, right? In reality, that 2.5 is probably more like two right? When you add the payments, whatever the monthly payments are, it's probably more like two years or maybe even less. So here we have an interesting scenario here. The only way velocity banking will make sense for this gentleman is definitely not with a PLOC personal line of credit or secure personal line of credit. Definitely not. Won't work. The interest rate too high. He's at a four 0.4% rate. So all we have to do is replace the 153 with a first position HELOC, maybe. So there are, this would probably be the first thing I might do if I was in his position. So I probably would get a first position HELOC and you can get an introductory rate I've seen as low as 1.99, 2.99%. So if you've got good credit, you can get an introductory rate on a first position HELOC for the first 6 to 12 months, right? So imagine going from 4.4 to 2.99 or 3, anything below 4.4, without having to pay refinance costs. So no closing costs. There's HELOCs that exist where there's no closing costs. Maybe there's an annual fee. Those are typical, but I'm perfectly okay with paying that if you're telling me that I can drastically reduce my rate almost by two points, right? Not bad. A point or higher is awesome in a refinance move. Typically, that's usually what they say. So if you go, you know, a point or higher, going from 4.4 amortized to 2.99 simple interest, first position home equity line of credit, this is a really, really, really cool way to simply implement velocity banking. And this is, when you have a first position HELOC, Jonathan, this is completely automated at this point. You can set up your, your income, your, your 8,000. You can set it up to directly be deposited into your HELOC. You can set up all your expenses to come out of the HELOC. And guess what? 
with a first position HELOC, your payment, right, is your paycheck. So technically speaking, you're not going to have a, a, a payment. Also, your mortgage payment will reduce because we go from paying 4.4 to 2.99. So if your desire is to pay off your debt first, let's say that's your desire, then you cannot refute this right here. This is irrefutable truth. I, I can't get around arguing how you could possibly go faster than me with your 60K a year at 4.4. Because I'm gonna do the, I'm doing the same thing you're doing, make, making extra payments, but I'm actually making eight thousand dollar a month payments into your HELOC, and you want me to add some more juice to it, Mr. Jonathan? Go get a credit card at zero percent on purchases, switch from monthly to annual in bills, cashback rewards, have another credit card that you run other bills through on a monthly basis, more cashback rewards that adds more juice. And so we can go from maybe a two year time frame to probably 1.5 or even less, who knows, right? It depends on how much money you make. Maybe you cash flow more, cash flow less. Um, debt snowball and velocity banking in this particular scenario, they're very tightly close. They're pretty close. But if you're talking about Okay, well, which one's the fastest? I can probably go at least almost a year faster, almost a year, maybe a good nine months, almost a year faster than whatever debt snowball can do, right? Because all I'm doing is replacing the entire 153 to a lower rate, lower payment, do velocity banking, dump all income in, attach a credit card to it, 0% cash back rewards, my friend. That's irrefutable truth right there. So I hope that helps.